Hello family, welcome to another educational video on the Play to Earn channel We are going to learn today, step by step how to configure MetaMask to interact with other blockchains because as you guys already know from our previous video that we did that you can find right here we uh, learned that MetaMask is native from the Ethereum blockchain but as a crypto wallet it can be configured to interact with other blockchains like for example BNB chain and how do you do that? really simple you come to your metamask you click on ethereum mainnet you click on add network and now you got to fill all these fields with the information of the network that you want to interact with let's take the example of bnb chain and for that we're going to use this guide i'm going to leave the link right in the description so in this guide we can find all the information about BNB chain so we have testnet and mainnet so what we want is the mainnet which is where all the depths from BNB chain are located what we're going to do is we're going to copy this and paste it in metamask fields so this is chain id network name i can call it whatever i want but i'm going to call it BNB chain so it's easier to identify it so for RPC URL we have more than one so we're going to just use the first one copy it and paste it and if you're wondering what RPC means it stands for remote procedure call and basically it's a way of dApps interacting with the blockchain itself currency symbol so the main currency of BNB chain is BNB okay so that's what we're going to write here you can also find it in the guide that I'm going to leave in the description then block explorer URL so this is where you're going to be able to see all the transactions that happen on the blockchain that you're adding to your metamask because as you guys know blockchain is public so every transaction that you do it's going to be right there on the block explorer for everyone to see so everyone that has your address can see everything that you're doing with your crypto assets and now that we filled all the fields in metamask let's click on save and right now i have two networks ethereum and bnb chain okay so the good thing is the address is exactly the same so let's test it out let's connect to a dApp on BNB chain like PancakeSwap for example so we are in PancakeSwap which is the centralized exchange of BNB chain and we're going to connect our wallet right now MetaMask and next connect and there you go we're connected to a decentralized application of BNB chain because we just configured our MetaMask to interact with BNB chain and a very interesting thing is that, for example, if we actually change the network from BNB chain to Ethereum mainnet once again, we're already seeing here an error. That's because we are in a different network and our previously connected wallet is not anymore in the BNB chain. And here it is, it's telling me that I'm connected to the wrong network. So guys, how it works is, if you want to interact with Ethereum dApps, you have to have metamask on ethereum if you want to connect with bnb chain dApps you have to have metamask on bnb chain and so on now if you actually want to connect your metamask to other networks like polygon for example all you have to do is to google it how to connect metamask with polygon and eventually you'll find a guide that will have all the information that you need about the network that you want to add to your metamask so guys i hope you took some value out of this video if you did hit the like button subscribe for more crypto education and nft gaming and i see crypto maniacs in the metaverse